I have no idea what my hair looks like and it's probably pretty bad. Hi, I'm Clever Ghoul, but you can call me Nikki. When I was up north on my road trip, I found this sewing pattern. I'm actually going to show it to you right now. And I really wanted to make it for today's video, but unfortunately, my sewing machine needs to be serviced. So, hopefully that'll be coming soon. I'm going to try and take my machine in this week, but I have ADHD. And there's, there's a national medication shortage, and... I'm losing my mind. I mean... Excuse me. So I want to make this in hopefully my next video or the video after that, but stay tuned. But today, I figured, you know, it's time to start decorating for the holidays or people are already starting. I mean, I saw Christmas decor in the stores in October, which is offensive and I want to sue for emotional distress that that caused me because Halloween hadn't even happened. She wasn't even in the ground yet and y'all were celebrating Christmas. It's just gross and wrong. But I wanted to make a tutorial today for a Christmas decoration and I figured now is probably a good time if you want to jump start before December rolls around. So my Christmas vibe, I know some people are like super traditional and like red and green and gold and silver and whatever. If that's your vibe, I'm happy for you. Definitely couldn't be me. So my vibe is more of a kitschy glitter rainbow disco glam Christmas. It's to me the only way to do the holiday season is to make it glittery and glammy and ridiculous. So with that in mind, we're gonna disco-fy. Disco-fy, disco ball-ify, mirror tile -ify, disco it up. We're gonna disco this nutcracker. I don't know about you, I know some people really love a nutcracker. I think that they're terrifying. I kind of think that they wanna kill you in your sleep. Sorry, I'm thinking about it right now and how they want to murder us all. Anyway, this guy's pretty cute though, right? He's not He's not too terrifying. I went to Dollar Tree to find a nutcracker. It was really small and flimsy, so I said no. And then I went to Target. There were a ton of nutcrackers there. They're big ones, and they're like in the $30 range, which is not my price range. I wanted $10 or under. And then I went digging through the Christmas section, and I found this guy, and he was 10 bucks. I tried to pick one that had a bunch of like scratches and bad paint on it so that the good ones were left for people who weren't going to cover him up. Basically, we are going to cover him in disco mirror tiles. It's gonna be a, a disco nutcracker. Anyway, as usual, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I've got him, and then I also have these beautiful mirror tiles that are supposed to be self-adhesive. Oh, it rolls. That's really nice. You see that? Another thing I've been really wanting to do is cover boots in this mirror tiles. I've been thinking about it nonstop for like a year. I just really want to make some disco boots. But I kind of wanted to try disco find something a little more low stakes first. So I guess let's get started. I'm also hoping to do this in one day. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. So let's see what happens. There's some beveled edges here on this guy and his little ball hands. Ball hands? Sorry, his little round hands. Nose and some of those features. I'm kind of worried about if the surface is gonna be level or not. Ooh, we've got our first little thingy happening. Oh, it just kind of bent on its own really nicely. But so far, we have liftoff. Now you can kind of see here what I'm saying. This bevel, he, I feel like I'm gonna have to put cardstock here to just, or maybe, maybe I just take Oh, I can just, just go over it and just pretend. You see? You can just kind of cover it like that. Okay, we'll do that then. What do you guys think about nutcrackers? Am I the only one who finds them just absolutely terrifying? Is that just me? There's something about them. It's like they're dead in the eyes. I don't quite know what my issue is. I just don't care for it. There's already mistakes being made. Things are not lining up. And potentially things are going a little wonky. However, to be honest, this is gonna be in like a garland situation, you know, the feet are gonna be covered. Also, no, I'm never gonna look at the back of this. It'll just be my own secret shame. Except I guess now it's not secret shame because you all know about it. I'm gonna jump up here to get away from this and how it's making me feel. So we're gonna, we're gonna jump up here now. Editing Nikki here. I just decided to go around the hat at this point. I wasn't really paying very close attention because I was just really spacey and distracted. Yeah, so we're running into some issues. Basically this sort of stuff is happening at the back, but I'm trying to think, you know, this is just meant to be a quick Christmas craft. 
quick Christmas craft. Try and say that 10 times fast. Quick Christmas craft, quick Christmas craft, quick Christmas craft, quick, quick Christmas craft. So you know what? We're not gonna look at her. We're gonna pretend that that's not happening. Because again, you're just gonna see from the front, maybe a little bit from the sides, but that's all he's here for. You know, this is a perfect rep this this crookedness, this bumpy situation is a perfect representation of me in middle school when I used to straighten my hair. High school too, I straighten my hair constantly. And I could never get the back right. So you know what? This is just an ode to child Nikki and her endeavors and hair straightening. It's completely intentional. Liar. I'm kind of scared of doing this part with his nose. Part of me wants to cut his nose off, which is not, that's not the correct instinct to have. Basically at this point, we were just trying to get the face together, trying to get this nose together. At first I thought this would be really easy and it kind of was, but that nose definitely was giving me a hard time and it, I, I did not like it. This feels like a big failure. Look at his nose. I tried, guys, I tried. He's wonky, okay? He's got a little bit of overlap in the back here as well. But like, if you squint or you look at him straight on, it's not so bad. That's not a good goal to have. I'm gonna keep motoring. And you know what, if this is a total fail, I'll still post this video because... Shit happens. So now I just started to work on the torso, which was fun. The limitations with the torso were really that it's so round, like an actual disco ball, but it's also so tiny and there's arms in the way. So everything just kind of I had to keep tweezers out to jam in some tiles because it wasn't really working. But overall, in the end, it looked okay. It just was a little stressy. His name's gonna be Beelzebub because honestly, I'm in hell. No, 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 this is really fun. You should do this. I'm just warning you. I went in here being like, <laughs> This is gonna be really easy. This is gonna even be a boring video potentially because it's gonna be so easy. And now I'm like, I feel like Dennis on Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely gonna have some patching with some glittery pipe cleaners. I had such big hopes to like just have this be mirrored, but I don't think it's gonna happen because I don't want to see all these mistakes, but I'm also lazy and I'm not going to sit here for three days and try and figure out a way around this. This isn't, this is supposed to be a cheap, easy craft, not like a torture session. Stay it down, you wee bastard. Lucifer. Lucifer! Never mind, I thought I was gonna name you Beelzebub, but Lucifer is so much fest more festive. Lucifer! Lucy, if you're nasty. I need to be committed. What are your plans for the holidays? Comment below. That sounded like I did not give a shit. I do care. I wanna know. Please interact with this video. Get in there. Get in. Get in. Get in. Yeah! Look, we've got a we've got a disco arm. Definitely some gaps. I was thinking about this, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I was like, oh, I should just paint it silver first. Then I was like, oh, but what if the tiles don't want to stick to fresh paint? And then I might have to sand it. I'm thinking now maybe that would have been a good idea. But you know what? Too late. Oh, this arm is tricky. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, it's a 45 degree angle, like miter joint. So part of my brain is like, oh, the tiles should go like this to match the but we're not doing that. A phrase I like to remind myself of is that done is better than perfect. If I was working for like Martha Stewart and doing this, this would be a completely different discussion, but I'm not. So we're just gonna keep being imperfect and that's okay. Can you hear that I'm trying to reassure myself that this will be okay? I shouldn't have started there. Oh well, <laughs> I should not have started where I just started that tile. So. <laughs> It's not easy dealing with the chaos in my brain. These things keep sticking together. <laughs> you know, even though this is kind of a pain in the ass, I still want to make disco shoes. What does that say about me and my priorities? That I'm okay with suffering. For fashion. Okay, he's just gonna have pipe cleaners everywhere, I think. Oh, look at that. He's got like a little hot pants. Hot pants. Hot, 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 hot pants. Lucy, 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 Lucy. I'm begging of you, please just look okay. So here we are so far. This is as far as I've gotten. Are there really wonky bits throughout? Absolutely. I mean, the shoes and the base alone are all funky and chunky. You know, there's gaps. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do his little globe orb hands or this thing. I'm actually almost thinking about cutting this thing off. We're gonna come back to it, but I think 
I need a break, I'm a little fried, I have ADHD and I don't have my treatment right now. And everything feels a hundred times harder than it would with my medication. I just feel so spacey and upset <laughs> and this is frustrating me and it's funny because if I had medication I'd be able to laugh at it but without medication I just am getting upset about it and being mean to myself and being like you can't look at this you can't even make this right. I don't really necessarily feel that way it's just I'm getting frustrated and a big thing with ADHD that a lot of people don't realize is that emotional regulation the ability to regulate your emotions is, I mean, I can't speak for everyone with ADHD, but for me it's one of my biggest pain points is that I have a difficult time regulating my emotions without medication. With medication I'm, I'm pretty okay, but without medication anything can just make me feel like I could burst into tears and I'm kind of reaching that point with this. I know I normally with medication wouldn't feel that way, I would be laughing at this, but it's really affecting me right now. And I'd rather be honest and real about it and take a break and come back then try and fake it in front of the camera. So I'm gonna take a break and come back. So I have a bunch of these metallic pipe cleaners, but as you can see, the ones I have the least amount of are, well, I don't have enough silver probably. I was going to just wrap them around right now and see what it kind of looks like and see if I think I'll need more. Part of me is debating just using what I have and hoping that I have enough, but I'm worried that I'll run out and then I'll go to Michael's and they won't have the same pipe cleaners, which is ridiculous because these pipe cleaners are standard and like I feel like everyone has them, but with my luck in life, they'll be completely different. I'm gonna chill a little bit. I'm gonna take the pipe cleaners I have and, and just wrap them around where I want them to go and see if that works. I'm still thinking about using silver paint for some of these elements, but other than that, I think we're good to go. So now that I've wrapped a bunch of these kind of haphazardly where, I, where they're gonna go, I mean, I'm gonna have more around the skirt, the top of the bottom of his tunic. What is this that they wear? Is this a coat? Whatever, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna put around the cuffs, around the skirt, down here. I really don't feel like painting and waiting for this to dry. I wanna finish this video today and start editing it tonight. So maybe we go to Michael's and get washi tape in silver, something to cover this and to cover up this guy, and I think that's kind of the best bet we have right now. So I just arrived. My Michael is right next to the home good. And do I go and look and see if there's potentially a home good? Because I have very little dopamine or serotonin in my brain. Maybe it'll help. I think so. Let's go. I still hate it. It's terrifying. Look at it watching me. They want blood. That did not, in fact, give me more serotonin. This is what I got at Michael. We got some of these bad boys. And I got this because it has this silver tape and I think we can use it so I don't have to paint everything. Anyway, that's what I got. Um, Home Good was a bust because there's something about all the Ray done in there. I know I'm Caucasian and a millennial, so therefore I should be kind of feral for Ray Dunn, but something about it just gives me the ick. And there was so much in there that it was like a malevolent presence. All right, so I'm back from the craft store. I got this glittery. Why can't I say that word? I got this glittery washi tape, and I'm hoping that I can put it on areas like the belt or the rim of the hat or this guy, just so I can avoid painting. So I just did the first strip of washi tape along his little hat brim here, and I love it. I'm still gonna do pipe cleaner trim around like cuffs and things like that, but I think it looks good. Am I crazy? Have I just been looking at this too long? I don't know, let's keep going. So now I've done a half-assed job on the back here, but again, you're never really gonna see him from the back. If you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back, 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 back. I just wanted him kind of covered. And then I kind of filled in his little hole. Ew. I'm gonna put, I was about to say tinsel, but I'm gonna put the pipe cleaner, I mean this guy's never gonna be functional, you know. I'm gonna put the pipe cleaner around this here to kind of make it look like he's got like a collar or a jacket situation. I don't know. It just... Trust the process? I'm still debating on how to do the top. I have this fabric from a LaCroix can costume I made a few years ago. It's like this silver metal netting sort of thing. And so I was thinking maybe I'll just cut that out and put it on top and then put more of this.
I started to paint the hands silver. I'm gonna try and mirror tile them, but they also might just get wrapped in tinsel. I don't know, I just think they're too small for the tile size to go around. Like, you know like when you see a cheap disco ball where there's all those gaps, that's what's gonna happen there. So I kind of just globbed on a ton of silver paint. I'm probably gonna do a second or third coat. But here's his little hat. You know, he's got his top now, and I still need to do these, which maybe I'll also paint. I'm gonna add some more pipe cleaner down here, and then I'm gonna give it a little break to dry, and then I'll come back and check in with you. It's day three. I did more layers of paint last night on his little hands, and I also painted the little caps up here, shoulder caps. I am now going to attempt to put mirror tiles on them. I'm scared. Also, don't you love how I said this would take one day, and here we are in day three? If I had been medicated, I would have been able to do this in one day, but yeah, I got really distracted last night while the paint was drying, so that was kind of, that was it. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. <laughs> I'm, I'm over it. This is Lucy. This is how he turned out. I'm pretty pleased with him for the most part. He's not what I envisioned, but he's also not not what I envisioned. Like I said previously, he reminds me of decorations from the 1950s that were just covered in tinsel and just highly flammable. And you know what? That goes with kitschy glitter disco rainbow Christmas. I'm pretty pleased with him. I hope this was entertaining. I hope that I got some laughs out of you. I'm really trying to get something out for you next week. It's just, I'm, I'm a struggle bus right now but I really appreciate your patience. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. I would love to see you over there. You can get little snippets of my unhinged personality, especially on TikTok. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Kitschy rainbow glitter disco magic Christmas. Can you not? My cat is going insane right now because I'm not giving her my undivided attention. How's your day going? <laughs> Get to the chopper! That was a horrible Arnold impression. I feel like I'm a booger. If I've had a booger hanging out this whole time, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my mind. I mean, I already have. Let's be real. I'm singing to this craft project. I feel like I'm holding an Oscar. Is you guys really like me? Get to the chopper. No. Mm -hmm.